Hey guys, it's Aisha, your girl Geek XX Chic, and I'm here with another review. Yes, we're reviewing The Flash. This is the last episode before they do their mid-season hiatus. Crazy to believe we're already here, Christmas episode, but, you know, that's the way it goes. But we got lots coming up next year, so I'm not too, too sad about it. I'm looking forward to this one. Not exactly sure what to expect. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on because we just had that massive crossover last week. So I don't see the CW delving in and getting like another massively, um, you know, high production cliffhanger type thing. Savitar thankfully took some time off last week. You know, he and Alchemy decided to kick it on a beach someplace in Jamaica and we're like, you know, the Flash looks kind of busy with aliens. That's entirely a whole different thing that I don't want to do with. So why don't we just sit back, have some rum punch, catch a few waves, head back to Central City next week, and then cause all havoc. Under the shoe. Give it up, Trickster. I hey! Jake Eric! Will you do me the honor of allowing me to kill you? He's <laughs> the most old timey machine gun I've ever seen. Assuming you didn't come all the way to Earth 3 to stop my trickster. I have something I need to Earth talk to you three. about. Earth 3? Speedster. Calls himself Savitar. Jay knows him. So, so we've got Jesse Quick on Savitar. Earth 2, yeah. The Flash on Earth 1, and now Jay Garrick is on Earth 3. Powerful enough to challenge. Uh, you know, it's just Savitar still out there. Yeah, but not right now. That's right. And your beautiful girlfriend is... Iris. Get your head out of the box. And back into your life with your loved ones while you have them. I love these moments of John Wesley Ship and Grant Gustin. They play so well off each other. Okay, seriously with Ghost Dante? What the hell? Hey, and now I am ready to drop yeah. into your arms. Yeah, he's a slayer. Sorry, Miss Christmas. Again. It's okay. I have everything I need. So, are you as excited to give me my present as I am to give you yours? Yeah, of course. So, yeah. You totally forgot. You did get me something, I right? I did get you something, yeah. I just, I haven't wrapped it yet. Totally so. lie. After you told me about Julian's archaeological dig, I started doing some digging of my own. Uh -huh. Iris works! Turns out, a few years ago, four scientists were killed in an excavation in India, and Julian was the point person. You mentioned that. He said he was obsessed with that stone for years. What if he was covering something up? Or someone? Oh, uh, Julian lying? No. It's only one way to find out. Oh, wow, when Iris gets to be Julian smart. Julian lied about the philosopher's stone. Tell him about the training. Training? Training? Oh, training. The vocal training. <sighs> because we're thinking of going caroling. We're going to talk about this later. <laughs> we're definitely going to talk about it. <laughs> Vocal training. Uh, Tom Cavanaugh actually has an amazing voice, though. I wouldn't mind hearing him from this sing some Carol. This building. Please tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> oh, I see him. That was totally to like a little mini Mr. No, Robot reference. Avatar, you Please tell me you're seeing this, too. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, Savitar's in the box? Oh. At least they remember to take the mask off this time. Julian. Julian, I'm trying to help you, but you need to trust me, says the man in a mask. Don't do it, Barry. Right. Don't you do it. Oh. Is there seriously anyone who doesn't know that Barry's the Flash? Anyone? <laughs> I should have known. I should have guessed it. Yeah, you should have. Everyone else did. Unexplained. My sister Emma died when I was 20. Emma? It really broke the family what? up, you know. Mom and dad went. She came back to me. She stood right in front of me, clear as day, a ghost or a vision, I don't know, but she was real. What happened? She told me about the stone. She told me where to find it. She told me that oh, if I got Dante it, that keeps it would showing up. back together again. And at that point, mate, I would have done anything to have her back. That's what I did. It's not good for Cisco. I'm not... Oh, no. I was right. Cisco. 
losing it, man. You're losing it. Stop! Stop scaring me! Whatever you are, it's okay. not cool, okay? <laughs> that is the creepiest smile, though. And it's just like... Oh, I know exactly what you are. Don't do it, Cisco, please. I love you, Cisco. Oh, not the aisle, dude. Oh. I've never liked you, Alan. <laughs> yeah. Having a little seance with your friends now is not going to help change that fact. You do know that. Fine. I'll try it. He was so Malfoy in that moment. It was adorable. One shall betray you. One shall fall. One will suffer a fate far worse than death. This is the knowledge I have for you about your everlasting damnation. That was so scary. I mean, that was, was it not truly frightening? What with the voice and the prophecies and the, oh, it was, I mean, that was a, that was a scare thon, wasn't it? I'm gonna go have a mint tea and a coffee and a lay down. Do you think things <laughs> that he said about one of us betraying him and one of us dying could really be true? I'm actually Someone starting to enjoy HR's future Barry, that pistol. No, Barry! Extreme shot put. But wait, whoa, what happened? Wait, I don't think that was supposed to happen. What happened? What? No, oh, please don't tell me more back to the past. trial of Jared Murillo, aka Thunder, comes to a close. Murillo was found guilty of grand theft and aggravated assault after he was caught by the Flash robbing the Central City Museum earlier this year. Jared Murillo. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. Nothing's ever an accident in this show. Please. Don't, don't what? Don't do this. No. Iris! No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. I'm begging you. Barry. No. No. No, no, no. Just as there are infinite Earths in the multiverse, there are infinite possibilities to the future. It's always bending, always changing. Every decision you make creates exactly. another alternative. I won't let Iris die. The future isn't there yet. And it might not even turn out to be what you saw. You need to focus on the here and now. Very true. You have to live your life. Mm-hmm. That is heavy. Uh, hey guys, his hot girlfriend. Fame. Seriously, I need Candace to stop Fame. slaying absolutely What's everything up? she wears. Like, I just need to like not eat for the rest of my life. You, know? you do know we won, right? We Ooh. defeated the bad guy. That ass, eh, Barry? Grandma Esther. Grandma Mary. Josiel. Let's see. It's a thing now. Hashtag. Mm. Damn, that's strong. Ooh. Both your grandmas were alcoholics. Oh my not God. shocking. <laughs> hey, Joe. Come on, here. Let me Thanks. No, uh, but he's even wearing the little um, here. Lonely, sir. Super yeah. proper. This is for you. Nice, man. Cheers, mate. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, mate. Merry I wanted to be part of Team Swash. I actually some, like Julie. Yeah. Have a white one. Caitlin Snow makes it. Wait for it. Snow. Exchange presents. How about right now? I love West Allen. Follow me. Come on. Let's get out of here. Dare take them away from me, writers. I swear I will hashtag rage quit oh, this show. Damn. I, I don't understand. Where are we? Oh. Wow. It's a nice place. Hello, what? Sugar Daddy Baron? I couldn't sleep on Cisco's couch anymore, and your place is sort of small for two so i signed a lease and i put both of our names on it i got your wallet i'm sure i'll love it <laughs> i mean this is a big step not for me y'all lived together before it's not that big a step i don't know what's gonna happen in the future all I know is right here, right now, I want to spend every moment I can with you. 
You're the first thing I want to see when I wake up. Stop it. You're the last thing I want to mm. Oh. Ooh. Well now. Oh, but the rug burn. Well. Mm. A really nice ending and i was right savitar is back not surprising he is the big bad very interesting twist that he's not 100 percent real the whole thing about him being an avatar or needing an avatar in order to communicate or be in the even in the speed force the virtual world really because obviously the only people who can see him are speedsters so it looks like he's already somewhat trapped in the space-time continuum and that's why barry and all the speedsters can see him because they're kind of part of it because of the speed force. Really happy to see that I was semi wrong about Julian. Like I was really hoping that the show wouldn't go a third season with making the new guy, AKA the potential person who could be a good guy into, oh my gosh, turns out he's the bad guy. Um, they didn't do that with Julian and I'm glad. I actually like the idea of Barry having someone in his life that doesn't like him that much, <laughs> that just isn't into Barry's syrupy, sweet, super innocent side and that's okay, right? It's totally okay for someone not to like be 100% on Barry's um, favorite list per se, but still respect him as a co-worker. So um, I'm glad that it, he's gonna stick around, it looks like. I was always thinking in the beginning that now that we don't have an actual scientific Wells on the team, there's kind of been a bit of a knowledge slash science gap on their team. And of course, Cisco's, Cisco's super smart, but he always needed someone to kind of bounce those deep scientific ideas off of who actually knew what they were talking about. So this could be Julian, now that he knows about Team Flash and he knows about Barry's identity, like everybody else in the world. That kid is terrible at keeping a secret. Now that he knows that, uh, he can potentially start helping Team Flash out with some of that other forensic stuff and some of that scientific stuff that is missing with uh, Harry being back on Earth 2. And maybe if we continue to see Tom, we'll see him in more of a context of being part of Team Flash. I'm down for that, but I have no idea how long Tom Felton plans on spending on this show. I mean, he doesn't really need to work. We all know he made like a gajillion dollars with Harry Potter. So this is definitely some hobby, <laughs> hobby type work he's doing right now. I'm glad that the Wally thing's finally kind of done with like, if we're gonna have yet another speedster, we might as well just deal with it. Wally's not gonna stop being Kid Flash because everyone tells him it's too dangerous because quite frankly, it's true. There's no argument they can give Wally that wouldn't have applied to Barry. So he's already got the speed. He's clearly very fast and he's, you know, he's, he's um, picking up a lot faster apparently than Barry did. So why not let's let him jump in and help Barry out when possible. And obviously two speedsters to help out with crime and metahumans is better than one. So he's got his official suit now. So he is Kid Flash and that'll be awesome. But I'm still not 100% sure that his power abilities and stuff are not going to somehow come back to Savitar in maybe a bad way. So remember, we had that prophecy that Julian did, which is, I guess, might as well talk about that really quick, about how one's going to betray them, one's going to fall, and one's going to suffer a fate worse than death. So they did some cutaways to each to certain people in the team, but I don't think that that's going to be... The, the those people like I think that was a little bit of misdirection but if I was to guess I could see them potentially using Wally as the person who turns against Barry but not like long term but I could see is it was Savitar that gave Barry his powers or Barry gave um Wally his powers and he had that weird cocoon thing like it was a really weird way to come about them so I'm kind of curious as to maybe if there's a little bit of a kickback or a, a side effect that later on is going to kick in that will somehow draw Wally in and you know control Wally and have him turn against the team. Because we all know that in the end, Barry has to go against the speedster in some form. So um, yeah, that might be Wally. The person who dies, I don't know who that's gonna be. I really hope it's not, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be Iris. I really don't see this show killing Iris after they made such a huge deal about how she is, you know, Barry said it at least four or five times this season that without her, there's no, flash about how he can't do it without her. I just don't believe they're going to kill Iris. But I can see them definitely using, um, you know, that thought, teasing it with us is going to be something that's going to be tormenting Barry all throughout the second half of the season, which is going to be very interesting. Who's going to suffer a fate worse than death? I'm not sure what that means. Like that could mean a lot of things. My guess is Killer Frost. I mean, they kind of already alluded to the fact that Caitlyn is going to become 
killer for us one way or another. I could see it somehow like, you know, the end of season three being like killer frost and like kid kid flash against the rest of the team i could totally see that happening i'm trying to figure out like we have all these we have at least three things that have been mentioned this season about barry but it's all future barry right so we had like in the beginning see the episode one we had eobard thawne talking about how future barry's done some terrible terrible things to him to the point where he wants to kill barry so you know, Barry's always like, what have I done? Like, what could I have possibly done to you to make you go through this much trouble to make my life miserable? So there's that thing. And then of course, there's now the message um, that was left with the Legend of Tomorrow people. Um, so apparently future Barry does something else that totally jacks with something that makes him untrustable. And then finally, now we find out that future Barry has somehow trapped Savitar and now Savitar's tick. So I'm just wondering what's going on and I'm wondering if it actually is this Barry that's doing all this troublemaking or as we saw in season one when Barry went back in time the first time, remember there was another version of himself that showed up and was like, mm -mm, Barry, don't you dare do this. There's like several versions of Barry out there, right? So I'm wondering if this is this Barry, you know, the, the one that we've been watching all along, is it him that's responsible for all this future stuff that has gotten so many people angry? Or is it possibly another version of Barry that was created through another timeline that's gone and done all this stuff and that's who everybody hates and this poor Barry is the one who's suffering the consequences. Like, I'm just a little curious because it just seems strange that this future Barry has changed so much. I mean, if Iris in fact dies in five months, I could totally see Barry going dark. I don't think so. I somehow feel like there's another version of Barry out there that's messed with a bunch of things. Plus, Eobard is still running around messing with things in all kinds of timelines. How much of this stuff is maybe Eobard somehow blaming Barry? There's just some questions I have that I'm hoping will get tied up towards the end of the season. And if not, maybe we can find out what the heck happened to Grodd, because remember we just tossed him into Earth 2 some time ago. Whatever happened to him? Are we gonna see him again? Just a big old loose end we're never gonna revisit? It's okay. That's basically it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. So if you like this video, please, please, please click like, leave comments. I love reading those. And if you want to see more from me, click that subscribe button. I hope you have a great holiday season and we'll see you in the new year.